Hello there. I'd like to talk with you about the home for a few minutes and parenting, just taking care of your family. The home has been distorted, in my opinion, in this age. The role of the husband, for instance, has been fragmented. He's no longer the head of the house. And yet the Apostle Paul tells him that he's supposed to bring up his children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. The wife is told to be a keeper at home in Titus, and so she needs to take care of the home life. But I see that being disrupted in our age. Children, too many times, direct how we're going to spend our time. We spend more time at soccer practice than we do at Bible study classes. We spend more time at the gymnasium getting all of our body fixed than we do at trying to pray to God about helping us to develop the kind of spiritual maturity that will cause our children to grow up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. So I want to suggest to you that we return to what God had in mind for the home. The home is the fundamental part of God's society. It's the fabric of which the society is made. And it starts with just husbands and wives and children. How long has it been since you spent some time with your family, since you got everybody around the table? Turn the television off. Turn the high fidelity off. Turn the HD off. Turn everything off. Turn the computer off. And just talk about things that relate to your family. Do you ever talk to your family about God? And you ladies, how long has it been since you took your children to the living room and said, I just want to talk with you about how to pray. I want to talk with you about how to uh, have a good relationship with God. How long has it been since you did that kind of thing? Now, I'm not saying that there's some rule that says you have to do that, but I am saying to you that that builds a foundation on which the home can really do the things that God had in mind when he gave it. He gave husbands the responsibility of taking care of the spiritual nourishment of the family. He gave the wives the responsibility of showing love and devotion, consideration. All of those things are best done not only by exemplary measures, uh, measures, but also by actually teaching little children what the scriptures say about love and respect and appreciation and care for your fellow man and that sort of thing. Certainly that is best shown in illustration, but it needs to be articulated as well. I just really believe that if you would take a little bit of time and engage your family in a bit of family worship, a bit of family Bible study, you would see a difference in your home life almost immediately. And the reason is really kind of simple. That's how God had it in the first place. So if you just go back to the Bible and just make it the rule of function in your family, it'll get better. Would you be interested in hearing some more about that? Get in touch with us, bumby.org. It's bumby.org. We want to talk with you about your family.